envy, betrayal, injustice, prison, patience, wisdom, power, wit, fairness, ruling, and prosperity. Words might be the titles for chapters of the best story ever told. The story of Prophet Yusuf. May peace be upon him. Salam alaikum. Please join us and let's delve into this amazing story of Prophet Joseph or Yusuf in Arabic. It all starts from his father, Prophet Yaqub or Jacob. Prophet Jacob was living in Hiran, which is an area in Levant. And he was living with his family, the big family, in the desert, outside of the urban area. He had four wives and 12 kids. His wife, Rahil, gave him Yusuf and Benjamin, or Benjamin, Joseph and Benjamin. Because he was blessed with Yusuf when he was old, so he was favored to his heart. Visions. The first vision, Yusuf comes to his father and told him, O oh father, I have seen 11 planets and the sun and the moon prostrating to me. Immediately, Prophet Yaqub understood the vision and he asked Yusuf not to tell the story in front of his brothers because he knew that they might envy him. And he told him, you never know. Satan or the devil is always putting evil in the heart of people. And the Quran says that Prophet Yaqub said, and so will your Lord choose you, O Yusuf, and teach you the interpretation of dreams and perfect his favor upon you and all the descendants of Yaqub, just as he once perfected upon your forefathers, Ibrahim and Ishaq, Abraham or Ibrahim in Arabic, Ishaq or Isaac in Hebrew. Surely Allah is all knowing and all wise. We move to the plot. The brothers of Yusuf, they were feeling that their father is favoring Yusuf. So they sat together and they were saying, surely you, Joseph and Benjamin, are more beloved to our father. Even we are a group and so many, but he still favors them. Indeed, our father is deeply mistaken. So one of them suggested, let's kill Yusuf or cast him out to a distant area. Let's get rid of him, basically so that our father's attention will be all to us. Then after that, we may repent and ask for forgiveness from Allah, and we become righteous people. Another one said, no, 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 do not kill Yusuf. But if you need to do something, maybe it's better to throw him to the bottom of a deep well, and maybe he will be picked up by some people who will take him away. And they agreed that this is a better solution. So they went to their father and asked him, Oh, our father, why don't you trust us with Yusuf? Although we truly wish him well, send him out with us tomorrow so that he may play and enjoy his time and we will really watch over him. Prophet Jacob knew that there is something wrong. He was not feeling well about it. He responded, It would really sadden my heart if something bad happens to him. I fear that maybe a wolf might eat him while you are busy and not focused with him. They said, If a wolf will eat him while we are so strong and a lot, then we will be truly losers. So he allowed them to go. When they took him away and decided to throw him in the bottom of the well, 
Allah inspired Yusuf. One day, he will remind them of the deeds that they did to him while they are unaware of who he is. Amazing, subhanAllah. And we will see it later in our story. So they did what they did and planned it very well. The plot was super. And they returned to their father in the evening, crying and weeping. They cried, our father, we went racing and left Joseph next to our things to protect it. And a wolf ate him. We know you will not believe us, no matter how truthful we are. And they took out Yusuf's shirt, stained with blood, false blood. Prophet Yaqub, may peace be upon him, responded, No, your souls must have tempted you to do something evil. So I can only endure with beautiful patience. Amazing words. It is Allah's help that I seek to bear your claims. Back to the desert, in the deep well, Yusuf is in dark, deep water, hoping for someone to pass and find him. And finally, some travelers pass by. They send their water boy to bring them some water from the well. The water boy let down his bucket and he found Yusuf. He cried out, Oh, what a great find! A boy! They all came and pulled Yusuf out and took him secretly and unfortunately to be sold as merchandise. But Allah is all-knowing of what they did. They later sold him for a cheap price. Quran mentioned that it's few silver coins. And from here start the next part of our story. His life inside the house of Aziz of Egypt. See you next time.